Hi, this is Steve Stein from Guitar Zoom, and I want to remind you how important it is that you start playing with other people. If you're not already playing with people, I want you to start thinking about it, okay? You might use the resources from uh, our Guitar Zoom clubs uh, to hook up with um, somebody, you know, a, a guitar player or, or somebody that's already part of the Guitar Zoom family that's regionally you know relatively close to where you are and you guys could get together or you you know you could play whatever and and just have some fun um if you have a neighbor or a relative or something like that that you could get together with and jam with that would be awesome uh when i was a little kid there was a drummer he was significantly older than me i was probably 14 something like that and he was probably like 18 or 19 but he lived across the street from me i grew up in a in a trailer court and uh he would bring his drum kit over my my parents would move the furniture out of the uh, out of the living room, or get it in the corners of the living room, so he could bring his drum kit over, and he and I would make just excessively terrible noise for hours on end with me just playing guitar, not really knowing what the heck I was doing, and him playing drums. And I don't remember if he was any good or not. But the point was, we had a blast, and we weren't playing on stage and whatever. It wasn't just this big production thing. It was just us jamming. Um, and I had friends when I was a kid that played guitar and we would get together and we would play Aussie tunes or Iron Maiden songs uh, together and it was just really a lot of fun. So remember that getting together with somebody doesn't mean it has to be on a monumentally huge stage with large gear, blah, blah, blah. It could just be something small, a friend or a relative or a, a sibling or um, again, if you use the Guitar Zoom resources, you know, you might be able to find somebody in your area that maybe is studying a lot of the same things that you're studying. The next step is, is to move into finding somewhere to play with a band, right? You might check your newspaper or you might check, um, you know, online listings to see if there's maybe somebody around that's, that's looking for somebody. Uh, it's another great thing to do. One thing that I would strongly encourage you to do on multiple levels is uh, find a church to play in. You know, I play in church, uh, you know, I used to play pretty much every weekend. Now I'm down to once or twice a month I'll play in church, but uh, just because I spend a lot of time with my family and stuff too. But playing in church is a really great thing to do uh, because it's relatively easy to get in. You don't have to be the, the, the greatest guitar player on the planet to be able to do it. And people are just really appreciative of the service that you're you're providing which is really really awesome and um you know for me it's 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 a bigger picture i mean you're 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 serving um god you know you're, you're doing something really awesome and uh, so there's lots of different reasons even if you know at our church what we do a lot is we bring in people that maybe they don't really you know believe in god or whatever but they they wind up coming in and enjoying the the interaction of playing with us and things like that and then we you know just hope that someday something happens in their life and they really enjoy it and move forward with whatever they got going. And if they don't, um, at least we had a great musical experience. So that's that's a really great thing that you could do. And of course, the next step is putting together a band or joining a band, a local band that you might have. Um, find somebody that, um, if you do join a band, find a band that fits who you are on the inside as well as on the outside, right? The kind of music that you like to play, the vision that you've got for music, um, you know, make sure that the people are people that you'd actually want to be around. Um, you know, if you're, if, if, if they are, you know, not beneficial to your lifestyle, it might not be a good, good, uh, good, good fit for you. So you got to think about things like that, but there's so many different things that you could do. And I want you to think about that. I want you to start finding some people to play with. All right. So, uh, take care and I'll speak to you soon. Hi there. Thank you so much for watching this video. I certainly hope that it helped you a little bit. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please do me a huge favor and either like it, subscribe to the channel, share it, or comment on it, okay? That's gonna help us out enormously. Um, and then we can keep in contact with you when we have new material that comes out. And if you uh, enjoyed the video, we've got some other videos over here that you can watch that might be able to help you on your guitar journey as well. And if you look up on the top there, you're gonna see there's a little eye up there. If you click on that, we are gonna be giving you a free gift just to say thank you for watching the video. Um, and then if you'd like to follow us on social media, you can use the term at GuitarZoom and you can find us there, all right? So take care, keep practicing, and have a great day.